Hello, and welcome to Sika Explained. In the next few minutes, we're going to cover step by step how to use this simple image quality adjustment tool set with your C75 or J75 press. You start by coming to your PC and launching the Sika application. Hit OK. The application loads, and we're going to start with the alignment adjustment process. The next step is going to the UI on your press. We're at the UI of the C75 or J75 press. Make sure that you're logged in as an administrator before you proceed. We're going to start by selecting the machine status button here on the console. I'm going to select the tools tab, scroll down one, select the maintenance option, scroll down one, and select the alignment adjustment option. And then I'm going to select the auto alignment adjustment. And at this point, I'm going to select the tray and stock that I want to have the registration set for. And in this case, I'm going to select the 12 by 18 uncoded stock. Select the print button. And now it's going to print a test target from that drawer on that stock. All right, I have my test target on a 12 by 18 sheet size, and I have pre-printed this sheet that's gonna help me with the scanning process for auto alignment calibration. So in this case, what we're doing is we're not only correcting for front to back and side to side registration, we're also correcting for skew, magnification, and perpendicularity, and if I look at the UI here, it walks you through step by step what you need to do next. I'm going to do a total of four scans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find the first single black dot to start with, place this sheet in the upper left hand corner, align my black dot right here. Okay. Once I've got that aligned, put down the cover and I hit start. Now we do scanning at 200 impressions per minute, so it goes blazing fast. And I'm going to repeat this process three more times per the instructions with the two black dots, single gray dot, and two gray dots on the back. All right, my four scans are now complete. I'll take off my registration target. And to end the alignment adjustment, select exit. I'm going to say confirm. And now I'm going to go back over to the PC with Sika loaded. If it's not already selected, from this menu, select the alignment adjustment option. Your scan target should show up here. And I'm going to click the start button. The adjustment is now in progress. All right, now I'm ready to actually select a profile to save to and I'm going to give it a name. Do you want to save the new adjustment? Yes, you do. I'm going to say OK. And now, if you look over at the machine on the Press UI, it'll show you that currently it's communicating with Sika, and now it's done. Now that you've created your profile with Sika, now it's time to apply it to a specific stock in a specific tray. I come over to the UI once I've loaded my stock. I'm going to click on Change Settings. I'm going to select Alignment Adjustment, select the profile that I want, select Save, Save, hit Confirm, and now the alignment profile is applied. Now we're going to cover the density uniformity adjustment process. I'm at the maintenance screen. I'm going to select that option. And now I'm going to select the semi-auto process using scanner. And I'm going to select the same stock again that I used before, which is the 12 by 18. And I'm going to hit print. All right, we have two sheets that just got printed here. We've got a CMYK and an RGB target. 
and if you look at the UI, it'll actually walk you through the same type of process, scanning process, that we did with the alignment adjustment. We're going to start by scanning the CMYK sheet. I take it, flip it over, put it up in the corner. I'm going to use white sheets as a background here. Lower the lid, hit start, and it's going to scan the CMYK sheet. I'm going to repeat this process for the RGB. I'm going to come to my PC that has Sika loaded. I'm going to select the density uniformity adjustment option and I'm going to click start. All right, it'll tell you what the correction results are and because we've ran this multiple times today, uh, there's little improvement to be made. I hit close. I want to save the new adjustments to the machine. Say yes. It'll tell you when it's completed successfully. I say OK. And that is the density uniformity adjustment process in a nutshell. It's that simple. In just a few minutes, we covered alignment and density uniformity adjustments which are critical to uptime and productivity for our customers. And I hope we demonstrated how easy it is and how quick it is to do these things. If you need any more information about the simple image quality adjustment tool set, simply refer to your features reference document which is located on your Sika CD. Thank you.